When using find replace in VS Code, if you search using a regular expression, you can reference groups from that regular expression in the replacement. Let's just open up a find widget here and expand it so we're in replace mode and enable regular expression matching by clicking over here. Now let's just say we have a list of names here and I'm going to type in a regular expression that matches the entire line for each of these. And if we wanted to wrap all of these in quotes, for example, we could do that by saying quote, quote, and then inside the quotes, we're going to say dollar sign zero. And what this will do is when VS Code does the replacement, it will actually um, substitute the entire match here for the dollar sign zero thing. So sure enough, that's what happened. Now, if we wanted to then, let's say, get rid of the quotes here, we could have something like this. So we're going to say match a uh, quote and then match anything inside of that and then match the other quote. And we're going to create a new regular expression group here. And now instead of dollar sign zero, we're going to say dollar sign one. And what this is saying is that instead of matching or instead of replacing the entire regular expression here, we're actually going to use the first group here. So we're just going to re replace this with the first group. And when we execute this, sure enough, it goes back and just replaces that. Now we could also do something like using multiple groups. So now I'm going to match two groups here. And if we wanted to swap the order of the names, so we have one group that's going to match any set of characters, and then a second group that's going to match any set of characters for the first name and last name. And then in the replacement, we're going to reorder things by saying dollar sign two and then dollar sign one. So it's going to use the second group first and then the first group uh, second there. And sure enough, when I do the replacement, it goes and swaps all the names. And I can swap them around just by executing that again. So that's just a few quick examples of how you can use regular expressions with replacement. But when you're manipulating text, this can be a great time saver.